Joseph Eswatini. The DHS2 is such a very important intervention that brings uh, real solutions to data. It's a system that uh, the country is implementing and it's a system that uh, we've been looking forward to as a solution to data, especially in education because our implementation of DHS2 is in education and uh, our experience so far is that it is such a very credible and uh, important solution to data. It has helped us to transition from a paper-based system to a web-based digital system which is uh, in touch with the developments uh, in terms of digital transformation. Our government is uh, very keen to implement uh, digital transformation programs including information systems, data information systems like uh, we are implementing DHS2. So it is such a very important uh, solution to data. And the good thing about it is that it can be linked to other government systems. So that is a plus already because it means as we implement, we will be able to track the same child across other government systems. So it is such a very good system that provides data solution. And the fact that it is web-based, it means the data can be almost real-time. It means the timeliness of data and the quality uh, is actually assured. DHS2 for Eswatini helps us to collect school administrative data, meaning that we can be able to enroll students on the system using a PIN, we will be able then to track their progress through the system. I see most government systems in the country following what education has actually adopted. I mentioned that uh, we are the first in education to implement DHS2. Already health is actually considering following suit. I can imagine that uh, many other government ministries will do the same. And if that happens, we've got a very good opportunity to then link the systems to then be able to program holistically when we provide service to children, to anyone that the system would be meant to serve. So I, I see it as the future of uh, information system in, in Eswatini.